Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing a teepee tent. This is the first teepee tent that I'm going to be reviewing here on my channel. It's from LuxOutdoor.com. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. Now teepees have been around for centuries and they're very, very strong. They're not the lightest on the market. Some of them are depending on the, the material used, but for the most part, teepees are an awesome way to go for breaking away from the traditional style of uh, tents. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the Sill Hex Peak F6A from Lux Outdoor. Okay guys, here it is right here. Lux Outdoor Sill Hex Peak F6A. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing out of its stuff sack. I'm going to set it up. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up. And then I'll go over the features and benefits with you. All right, so let's get this thing out of its stuff sack here. Get your stakes. You have your one pole. Now this is one extendable pole. This is for the center support. Now the center pole here should be extended to five and a quarter feet, so 5.25 feet. The stakes should be six inches from the actual tent body. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the stakes out. It does come with branded LuxOutdoor.com stakes. These are little tri stakes. I really like these stakes. Another thing it also comes with is silicone seam sealer and a brush. So that's important. It also comes with a little extra guy lines, stuff like that. So that's awesome. Now the stakes should be about six inches from the actual tent body. And once you have the corners all dialed in, then I would say let's do this back one here. So then what I would do is I would extend the pole all the way to the shortest position, which is where it is right now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the center pole. There's a little pocket right in here. Kind of set your pole right in there. <clears throat> and then there's a little pouch or a little center opening here in the tent body. So you just kind of level that off and then you extend this thing out to your five foot and a five and a quarter foot. Just like that. And then you can cinch this thing down. There's your teepee tent. Really, really tall center height. I like that it extends out here in the side, on the back side here. So it's really like a two and a half person with the center pole down the middle. Really good looking tent. Lots of room inside too. So now we're gonna do is we're going to set up the rain fly. Choose the existing stakes. You can get more stakes if you really want to. Um, there is one less, uh, one more stake that you use for the rain fly. I'll get to that in a minute. All 
Now once that's all in place, then you have your fully enclosed shelter. Teepee shelter. It only has one door. Same kind of guy line and hook on the fly as it does on the tent body itself for the hooks that hold everything in place. You open this up, and then you have full access to get inside your shelter. As I said, there's your center pull design. It goes all the way up to the top. Lots of room inside here. You have pocket over in the corner. On just the one side, up top, there is other pocket right there. So you can put all your stuff in there. Pocket here. There's just a little pocket up top right here. So you can put your light up there, your headlamp, you know, sunglasses, whatever you want. And then this is the how it secures down around the tent body. So another really good thing about this tent is that you can actually set this up as a fast fly, meaning that you can leave the tent body at home and just set up the, uh, set up the fly with the center pole uh, and set it up exactly the same way, which is really cool because you're gonna shed a bunch of weight by leaving the tent body at home. You know, if you're going to a place that doesn't really have any kind of like mosquitoes or bugs or anything like that, you just wanna use a tarp, you can and you can set it up. So I like multiple options. Another cool feature is that you can actually set this up. It has a little rod right here. You can set this up as a little beak, just like that. And then it has a little ventilation in here for a window. So it'll also increase the overall, you know, ventilation inside the tent. Now you can see on the inside here that there is plenty of room for two sleeping bags. I just have one sleeping bag in here for right now. But plenty of room for a sleeping bag and gear for two people. On the outside here, there is also additional reflective tie outs for setting this thing up in like high wind. Those are all reflective. I don't know if you notice this, but on the top here, there's also this little loop. So if you wanted to string this between a couple of trees and not bring the pole, you could also do that too. So I'm talking about with the, the beak. It has this nice little ventilated area for the window. You know me, I'm a big fan of branding. Plenty of room under the vestibule for gear. You know, leave your boots, your packs, whatever, leave that out there and you're fine. All right guys, so that's my review of the Sil Hexpeak F6A from Lux Outdoor. These guys are making really, really cool, innovative TP tents and other shelters. Definitely worth a look at in my opinion. So when you have a second, check out their website. It's luxoutdoor.com. If you guys have any questions or comments about this, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate you checking out my latest video. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care guys, get outdoors.